here are some general shop safety rules for the precision machining shop. Eye protection is required at all times in the shop area. Remove loose clothing, watches, rings, and ties. No long sleeve shirts are allowed in the shop. All horseplay is to cease in the shop area. Before operating any machine, you must pass a test of safety with that machine of 100%. Do not operate any machine when the instructor is not in the shop. When working with another student, only one should operate the machine controls. Do not lean or sit on any machine. Do not talk to others when they are operating a machine. Get first aid immediately for any injury and report all injuries to your instructor. Put all tools away when not in use. Do not leave tools or work on the machine table or on the machine itself even if the machine is not running. Vibrations could cause the tools to fall and end up in an improper position. If you are in doubt about anything, ask your instructor. Clean up all spilled liquids immediately. They are slipping hazards. Keep all floors free of oil, grease, and any other kind of liquid. Do not try to make any repairs of equipment yourself. Report them to your instructor. All observers should stay out of the machine area while the machine is in operation. In case of fire, follow the posted signs to leave the building immediately, but walk. Do not run. In case of a tornado drill or tornado siren, proceed to the correct location following your instructor's inst instructions. All oily rags should be put in the proper waste containers. If you need help, ask your instructor. When lifting heavy objects, lift with your legs. Keep your back as straight as possible. If you do not know how to lift something or need help, ask your instructor. Do not touch any moving objects or any part of the machine that is moving. This includes belts, pulleys, chucks, cutters, parts, wheels, any, anything that is rotating, do not touch it. Get your instructor's permission before leaving a shop area. We need to know where you are at at all times for safety reasons. Use special safety equipment when required. When in doubt, ask your instructor. Machines are only as safe as the person using them. Machines do not think and are tougher than you are. You must think if this job is to be accident free. You have a brain. The machine does not. You have to think for you and the machine. Hello, Tracy Jones here. We are going to cover some of the specific safety instructions and rules for use of the drill press. First, always make sure you have proper eye protection. Foresight is better than no sight. You can use safety glasses, goggles, face shields, whatever is necessary to protect you the best for the situation you're working with. You also want to make sure that you remove all rings, bracelets, watches, any jewelry, and that you contain any hair, pull it back, keep it out of the way, as you're going to have a rotating cutter and spindle, you don't want anything to get hung up. When putting the tool into the chuck, This is your chuck right here, and it's going to require 
a chuck key to tighten it. Make sure once you have the tool tight, you remove the chuck key from the chuck. If you leave the chuck key in and turn the spindle on, it will throw the chuck key out and can injure the operator. When you secure the workpiece, if you are securing the workpiece directly to the table, you can use these slots and there are various holes and tie downs that you can use to secure the material. If you are using a vise to hold the material, secure the part into the vise, then secure the vise to the table. Do not, and I repeat, do not attempt to hold the material or the vise with your hand and drill a hole. If the part were to slip, it could cause extreme harm to the operator. If you are using a part that is long enough and extends beyond the vise, such as this, it is always best to extend the part beyond the column. This is your column that holds the head and the vise and the table extend beyond it so that if if the drill were to hang in the part the part will stop when it reaches the column if the material were to slip from the hold downs holding it to the table or slip in the vise itself when the part and or the vise is secure and the cutter is secure in the spindle Make sure that before you turn the spindle on, this is your start, this is your stop. With this machine or any other, make sure you know how to properly operate the machine. Make sure you know where the power switch is at and make sure if there's an override emergency switch, you know where it's at to be able to turn the machine off. Prior to turning the machine on, make sure you have clearance between your cutter and your part. Make sure you are not in between there. Be careful when drilling, you do not reach around the drill bit. To remove chips, to put oil on the cutter, whatever the case may be, make sure you reach around very carefully and you do not reach beyond the drill. Just like every other machine in the machine shop, do not wear long sleeves. The cutter you have is rotating. If that rotating cutter were to grab the sleeve, it could do extreme damage to the arm, to the hand, or any other part of the body.